Mm, okay. There's a bell. Communicator, globe. What a pile of junk. <laughs> Glass. Keyhole. <laughs> yeah, that would be fun. <laughs> really, it doesn't work. Wait, well, yeah, we have a glass. Notice the glass is the um, same shape as the one on the on the recipe. So yeah, so we have our battery acid stuff. One of the few long distance radio devices in this backwater town. Why are we paying an operator if nobody's ever making a call? I know why I don't pay taxes. Water. Mm, I kind of. Hang on. What's this? A hidden compartment? Well, looks like Dad's. Oh. We'll see the light of day. And then the key opens the globe. <laughs> A key. My dad knew I'd be clever enough to find it. I wonder what I'd get for it if I melt it down. <laughs> key to the boost cabinet. Nice. This might be unnecessarily complicated. But I'm certain Dad wanted to make sure that I'm the only one who could get this far. Get to his big secret. His legacy. His liquor cabinet. Get the booze. Uh. That smell reminds me of something Dad's aftershave lotion. This tastes like the cough syrup that dad used to give. That thing we need? I don't think it is. Uh. Okay, so it's the booze. I thought it'd be. So the water. The <laughs> sure. Ooh, what's this, Tully typewriter? S O L O N G Y O U S. U C K E. Damn, where was I? Okay. There's a message from the mayor of Buzo Westfog. O O I C U R N E D O T. Huh? Either a cat was jumping up and down on the keyboard, or the operator must have gotten that all wrong. Um. Okay. Any more stuff I'm missing? Next, please. Hmm. Guess I'm last in line. Whatever. Who could possibly succeed except for me? Next, please. Okay. I don't think I ain't doing those. I suggest not to move her in this condition. What kind of condition is she in? I still don't understand. I mean, is she dead? No, no. Her body is alive and Probably the man was in there. Her consciousness. It's inactive. So she's asleep. Well, it's a bit more complicated than that. I think it's related to this implant. It's broken. A consciousness implant? Isn't there a switch or something? A fuse? Maybe the contacts are corroded. That's what always happens with my intercom. I already tried everything, but this is Elysian technology. I have no idea how it's being used. I don't even have the appropriate screwdriver. So, uh, when can I finally take her home? She needs to wake up first. Okay, okay, I see. This situation needs to be resolved through a government decision. Let's do it like this. If you manage to wake her up, you can have her. And what happens if I wake her up? Rufus! You're not even <laughs> supposed to be here. But I have a plan. Oh, I've heard about your plans. You never think things through. Everything you do ends in chaos. And most That's likely fine. with an explosion. <laughs> we'll see about that. I warn you, stay away from the girl. Okay. So I don't think we can do anything here yet. We need to finish things. So let's go get the battery acid because we can. We know we can get that. Ha <laughs> ha! I've siphoned the acid without injuring myself. <laughs> I'll drink to that. <laughs> <laughs> 
God damn it. <laughs> uh, can we get the water then as well with that? I don't want anything to do. No. Hmm. The water's still lacking something reviving. Yeah, so the booze was the clear water in inverted commas. I thought that's kind of weird, but sure. I feared that's what it was. So we just need the bowl thing. Like this bowl thing's the last the last puzzle, but I don't even know. He's not facing me, so I need to make him face me. He's bored? Hmm. So what happens if I use this again? He's not Toro! facing me, right? Hey, I said Toro! What what good is it being the best of matadors if the bull isn't even looking? We're so close, guys. Toro! Hey! You have to I Luckily I The syringe is how we get his the blood. Like that's <laughs> if I were in search of some phlegm, I'd go and take Wenzel's blood. So when we t I'm confused. Let's go and try and take Wenzel's blood. <laughs> Looks like he needs fuel. You might be right. That's actually not a bad. But what would we use as fuel? One second, I'm just going to see if I can take Wenzel's blood. He wouldn't know what to do with it. He doesn't even know what to do with himself. Can't take one's as blood, okay. Ah, ah, but Rufus! You're not untouchable, low tech. Don't you ever We do have the revitalizing liquid, yeah. Like what we're miss What we're missing is um the no, sorry, the revitalizing liquid is the bull blood. We've got the energy rich, we've got the clear water, we've got the, all the bean stuff. We just need the revitalizing, which is from the bowl. Yeah, all empathy. I haven't got a. I mean, does he even. Let's talk to Wenzel. Looky here, Wenzel, too. Did somebody drop food? I mean, what's the deal with the crawling around on the floor? I'm waiting for Gold to wake up so I can take her with me, of course. Ha! Ah, dream on. Although, it is true that ants can carry ten times their own weight. But why would Goal, an Elysian Orbit elf, want to have anything to do with somebody like you? Duh, Rufus! You've always underestimated me. Ugh. Rufus, Rufus! Look at me. I'm a self-made man. Yeah, whoever made you must have stopped right in the middle. Oh, yeah? I am rich. I've got a water vein running through my basement. Yeah, I didn't have you, on the other I hand, did have a cow in the right. basement. You ain't got nothing, Rufus. Hey, that's how you pay people back when they give their best? And what would I want with a basement in Kuvak? I don't belong here, and neither does Gold. And as soon as I wake her up, I will accompany her to Elysium. You'll see. Right. Uh, we're almost there, guys. Pieced most things together. Nat's piss. The only thing to drink on the planet. Huh. Not true. <laughs> I could do with a steak. Can I take the sign? Oh, I can take the sign. God damn it. Apparently, I never tried to take the sign. Ah. Ah. Brilliant idea, Rufus. What could a lonesome bull crave more than a well-chilled glass of Nat's piss? Okay, I'll use the cow. Main thing is that it worked. Toro! Hey, what, what good is... I can see you still can't do that, okay. Nah, the blood of an enamored bull would probably make an ingredient for an aphrodisiac. But I want to brew some espresso that uses the blood of an enraged bull. Oh, do I put the mint? So we do, it is the right thing. So I guess. 
There we go. Well, <laughs> an accomplished matador like me knows how to bring the blood of a bull to a boil. Or whatever liquid it is that's pumping through those tubes. Did it. Draw blood from an enraged bull? <laughs> Child's play. I feel like this is gonna go- oh god. Oh no. <laughs> oh god, we're in the cactuses. Bull's blood. Check. Cool. I already have the special water at least. Cool, we did it. Alright. Time to see how the espresso machine works. Uh, do I have to give them to him, I guess? So, I have the powder already. Alright. And the water. Into the tank you go. Well, that's it. I found all the ingredients. You did it! Wonderful! I can't even tell you how excited I am to see what happens next. Yeah, but I thought we were making espresso. Yes, you are right. This is an august moment, my friend. We shouldn't spoil it by worrying about the pressure within the nuclear core structure. Pressure within the nuclear core structure? <laughs> Hear me, gods of our forefathers. Using just the most refined ingredients and the highest possible compression, we beseech thee, open the gates to the espresso verse. <laughs> Holy smoke. God, that is... I'm pretty sure that's like a 40k reference. It's like more the machine pressure, spirit. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Did we just open a portal to the warp? Are we... <laughs> are we dead? No. Being dead feels completely different. Oh. As you know, I have gazed deep into death's eyes more than once in my life. Oh, now that you mention it, that reminds me. Is Tony still wearing those contact lenses? Shh! Something's happening. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> we did it, guys. <laughs> oh, this is great. I think this brew is gonna do the job. Espresso. Uh, toad hole. So we still haven't had to use the post office, interestingly enough. <laughs> performance of a lifetime, yeah. What's that stinging smell? That's medicine. Says who? Says I. And who's the doctor here? <laughs> you tell me. Let's say it together. Me. me. It's a draw. Best out of three. You. Me. You. Ah, I win. Oh, crap. Alright. I guess I think we need to get rid of him. But not the way I thought we did. Let's just set fire to something. Control mode activated. Firefighter Gizmo at your service. Where is the fire? Over there! The chamber's on fire! Good lord! Don't worry, your fire will be extinguished in no time. <laughs> what? He's just the door in him as well. Oh my god. We just. Guys. Guys. Guys, we did it. I just want to point out, we solved the puzzle by just setting something on fire. <laughs> Don't even think about it, Rufus. Keep your hands off the Elysian, Rufus. But this situation calls for a funnel right there. What? 
No! What makes you think that? You should be glad that Inspector Gizmo's not around. Uh, I need to have a sleep. Finally, I was getting worried I'd have to camp in the cupboard forever. Uh -oh. Whoa! Where was I? Ah, yes. Oh, did I miss that? Mode activated. Doctor Gizmo at your service. How's the patient? I'd say her condition hasn't changed. Leave the diagnosis to the doctor, will you? Now, just where is my stethoscope? It's gone. Thieves! Crime in progress. Police mode activated. <laughs> Officer Gizmo at your service. No one leaves the crime scene. Ah. Ah, but Rufus! You're not untouchable, Low Tech. Don't you ever forget that. <laughs> this is That's so enough. good. I think you're done. Uh, come on, Gizmo. You have more important things to do. Don't tell me how to do my work. Or are you just trying to divert my attention from your guilt? <laughs> what? That's simply... So I want to point out, guys, we set fire to a cupboard and then planted... <laughs> we planted evidence on the mayor. This game is amazing. Paving <laughs> mayor? How dare you? Put up your hands, Lotek. I have no intention of lifting my hands. You better do what I say. I don't want to. You don't have any choice. I don't? Well... You're fired. You can't fire me. You're arrested. You can't arrest me. You're fired. But I arrested you first. So what? You're fired <laughs> anyway. You can't fire me. You're arrested. You can't arrest me. You're fired. But I arrested you first. So what? You're fired anyway. Anyway. You can't fire me. You're... We did it, guys. This game is incredible. What? Well, how was that? Me. It was me. <laughs> Rufus? Are you alright? Oh, we just got sucker punched. Phew. Oh, oh. What happened? You woke the stranger, the Elysian girl. And then you got knocked out. Dole? Where is she? How is she? She's still a bit confused. I think her implant was seriously damaged by the fall. She is conscious now, but she's just talking gibberish. Can I talk to her? Of course. She's lying over there. I took her into medical custody. Just don't stress her out too much. First and foremost, she needs rest now. No problem. Thanks, doctor. Oh, God. We, guys, we have to. Say, did it hurt a lot when you fell from the sky? <laughs> uh... Oh, come on, that was funny. <laughs> because, I mean, you <laughs> really fell from the sky, you know, like an angel. <laughs> Just like in the, in the pickup line. <laughs> do, do, do you get it? Goal, it's me. Your savior. Toodle, toodle, toodle. Pups? No, it, it's Rufus. Uh, yes. Pups? You can give me any name you like. <laughs> Hello? Anyone home? Home, 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 home. I'll take that as a yes with limitations. Get a hold of yourself. Soup, 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 Guadeloupe. Yeah, she's attractive and fun to talk to. We didn't do anything to her. Ah, uh, flash dash kazash. <laughs> Savvy mommy, good old granny. That woman is completely nuts. Bonka swanka kazankas. Oh, what did I expect anyway? That she would take me to Elysium? Elysium. We need to go back to. You did it, guys. What did you just say? Horrible things. The Organon betrayed us. Quick, we need to go back to Elysium. Yes, yes. You, you, you remember what happened? Is that you, Cletus? What? No, I'm not. My, my name is Rufus. I saved you. Rufus? I don't understand. Where am I? You had a pretty bad fall. The doctor says that you're hallucinating. That's... 
confusing, but... <sighs> I need to get to Cletus. Can you take me to him? Who is Cletus? My fiancé. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe you are safer down here. <laughs> After all, you... He'll reward you generously. Oh, that... Uh... Generously, you say? I love how one-dimensional a character is. You will search for me. Yeah, yeah. How generous exactly is generous? Maybe you can reach him using a radio. He's certainly trying to find me. Uh, radio in the mess office. I really think that's a good idea. I mean, for a fiancé, he didn't really make much of an effort to protect you. Rufus, please. You're the only one I can trust. Yeah, that sounds about right. I really am the only one you can trust. The only one. And you already proved that you're of noble character. Mm-hmm. The burden of a <laughs> hero. But let's get back to the expression, generous. Rufus, please, contact Cletus. I would be so very thankful. So very, very thankful. You did it, guys. Uh. I'm sorry, I don't know if I can do that. Can spam one tomo polo lollipop? Peekaboo. But. Bootem swadikosu loka shootapop. Oh, the burden of the hero. Why do I always have to be so infinitely generous? <laughs> you did it.